Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Good morning, church. Greet your neighbor. Good morning and win today. Greet your other neighbor. Good morning and win today. Greet another neighbor. Good morning and win today. And greet the viewers all over the world. Good morning and win today. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. 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 Yes, indeed. God Almighty is with us. Say to your neighbor, say, neighbor. Neighbor. God Almighty is aware of whatever you are going through. God Almighty is aware of your challenges and he will never leave you without solution. All he wants you to do is to trust him. Trust him. Trust him. And you will never be disappointed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in God's presence. Once again, you are welcome to the arena of liberty in Jesus' name. Yes, it is time for God's word. Yes, turn your Bible quickly with me to the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4. Verse 29. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. It says, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good and necessary vacation, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And also... Turn with me to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 21, verse 23. It says, Whoever God is mouth and tongue keeps his soul from trouble. Whoever God is mouth and tongue keeps his soul from troubles. Today's message is titled, Watch Your Words. Tell your neighbor, watch your words. Watch your words. Why do we need to watch our words? Prophet T.B. Joshua says, the words we speak determines the life we enjoy. The words you speak determines the life you enjoy. Nothing is important in living the good life than learning the good language. What words are coming out of your mouth? Are you saying what God's word says or what your situation say? We can either say what we have in Christ which enables us to change our circumstance or say what our situation have, which makes us victims of our circumstance. Think about it. Words are important. Words are important. When you look at your surroundings today, what you see is frightening. Looking at your front, you will see injustice. Looking at your back, you will see intolerance. Looking at your right, you will see fear, pressure, and tension. Looking at your left, you will see economic oppression and poverty everywhere. In the midst of all this, 
as Christians, you must speak right. Because when you speak right, you are training yourself to think right and to act right. There are challenges everywhere. Challenges reveals the true condition of man's heart. How you react under the tension and pressure of these challenges is how the real you reacts. Never allow your situation, your challenges, your circumstance to take the direction of your confession. Remember, you cannot speak contrary to God's word and win his blessings and favor. You cannot speak contrary to God's word and expect to win his blessings and favor. Prophet T.B. Joshua says, there is power in your mouth. The belief in your heart is released by faith out of your mouth. There is no believing that does not express itself in confession. Whatever you believe, that you will confess. You are what you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. You are what you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. But the question we need to ask ourselves, what do you believe? Do you believe God and his word or something else? We unconsciously confess what we believe. If you speak failure and weakness, it is because you believe in failure and weakness. If you speak God's word, it is because you believe it. It is what you confess with your mouth that really dominates your inner being. It is not only our thinking, it is our words, our conversation that builds power or weakness into us. That is why Prophet T.B. Joshua says, make God's word your database for every conversation. Make God's word your database for every conversation because by your word, you are saved or lost. By your word, you have plenty or you lack. By your word, you are strong or weak. Your confession of failure keeps you in the realm of failure. Your confession of God's ability in your case, in your situation, puts you over. Our words can either trap us and hold us in captivity or set us free and become a blessing to others. Tell anybody, neighbor, watch your words. Watch your words. As Christians, you must speak the words of faith at all times. As Christians, you must speak the word of faith at all times. Your faith is measured by your words. Your words shows how much you value God's word. Do you value God's word? Then your words will show it. If you value God's word. Sooner or later... What you confess, that is what you will become. Sooner or later, you will become what you confess. If we learn the power of speaking God's word in faith, you can begin to change your life. If you learn the power of speaking God's word in faith, you can begin to change 
your life. For faith is the key that unlocks the treasures that are hidden among the problems of the everyday life. Say to your neighbor, stop speaking negative words over your life. Stop speaking negative words over your lives. When you speak a negative word over your life, it brings discouragement and defeat. When you say, this problem is too big, I can never overcome it. It is like poisoning your system. And you know the effects the poison will have on your body. Such effects will a negative word also have on you. But take note. Faith is not denier. Faith does not deny the existence of a problem. There is problem everywhere. Remember, God Almighty never promised to keep us away from tests and trials, but he promised to see us through them. And Prophet T.B. Joshua says, tests and trials are the soil in which the seed of faith flourishes. That is why the book of James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4, encourages us. It says, my brethren, Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Remember, faith is not an isolated spiritual force. Patience must be paired with faith in inheriting God's promises for your life. Patience has to be paired with faith in order to inherit God's promise for your life. Without the power of patience working in us, our faith will be overwhelmed. Because of the things we see. Because of the happenings around us. In order for you to be sound in patience. In order for you to be sound in patience. You must answer every doubt. And every fear. With a firm assurance. And confession. That God's word is true. Regardless what you feel or what you see. In order for you to be sound in patience, you must answer every fear, every doubt with a firm assurance that God's word is true regardless what you feel or see. Finally, people of God, you have the right to say what God says. Tell your neighbor, you have the right to say what God says. Yes, you have the right to say what God says. If God has said it in his word, then you can confess it. Knowing that God will make it good. For he said, I watch over my word to perform it according to the book of Jeremiah 1, verse 12. And he also said, he who believes in him, that is, he who believes in Jesus, will by no means be put to shame. According to the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 6. People of God, your confidence should be in the unbroken and living word of God. When you are faced with a trying situation that tends to challenge your faith in God, 
Remember to maintain your confession. Remember to maintain your confession and hold fast to your confession of God's word, which is the secret of success and victory in the divine life. When you are faced with a trying situation, remember to maintain your confession and hold fast to your confession of God's word. For this is a secret of success and victory in the divine life. Say this prayer after me. Say, set a guard. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Keep watch over the door of my lips. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And bless his word in the midst of our hearts. And give us the grace to watch our words in Jesus' name. Yes, remember, God loves you. We've been blessed in Jesus' name.